welcome to our coverage of British Show Jumping's International Stairway Series. The course has been set behind me, we'll be underway shortly and it is maximum height today for what is the most prestigious and biggest class here at the Royal Norfolk Show. Since you last joined us, two more events have taken place in this series. For the first time, it's headed to Cheshire and to the picturesque Bolsworth Castle Estate, a fantastic new all-weather facility for the international show jumping circuit. And it was British rider Robert Whittaker who topped the competitive stairway class. Robert winning aboard his 13-year-old Bay Stallion USA today. The series then headed to Scotland and to the historic Royal Highland Show where last year's overall series winner Tim Page took top honours. So that brings us here to Norfolk which is the six of the nine events that make up the series which culminates in September. So let's take a look at the leaderboard then heading into today's event. Suffolk-based show jumper Tim Davis tops the table, that's after a first and second so far this summer. He rides Valentino. Hot on his heels, though, is Graham Lovegrove and Alfie. Just three points separate the pair, and that's the difference between finishing first and second today. So it is tight between those two, and the good news is that they are both competing here this afternoon. Graham is, um, you know, right there, you know, banging on my heels. Tim's going to be, um, you know, he wants to keep his lead. If I have a fence down, then that's it. My chances might be over. If he goes clear, he could overtake me. I'm close. I think Nigel Kalp's close. You know, we're going to chase him down. We're not going to give him an easy run. And we'll do our best, you know. You know, if we have a luck goes our way today, we should be all right. The course will be tough, as always, which it should be. Well, it certainly was a very tough round indeed. Poles falling all over for some fantastic combinations with great form. And they dropped all around, taking some of the big names that we expected to do well here at the Royal Norfolk out of the running. But there were two clears at this stage, Robert Bevis and Louise Saywell performing top rounds once again. Simon Buckley in the hunt this time. Philip Miller with basic on the four. And remembering we take through the best five scores to round two and a little further down the orders we see Tim Stockdale and Forsha retiring then Clark Glasgow it wasn't quite to be for him too but for this lady Abby Birch Marim's still to come with Will Andry competed on three Nations Cups so far and part of two European Championship teams a young rider very much on the rise and starting her campaign this year out in Spain before back here to Great Britain for the summer show circuit First two fences on the dog leg around the water, back to fence three then. This fence has caused a lot of problems in this class. Nothing too much wrong with it, going back towards the crowd. Whether they get distracted or what they see, not too sure. Shouldn't have caused too much problem, but it's certainly fallen, well, quite a lot. Over the water there, you can't quite see the water fence underneath. The stretch out over that, then they go over the horses right back and controlled over the next of the verticals. Then over this fence, which was part of the uh, set of fences from the Olympic Games in London in 2012. Then to a plank. This will fall very, very easily if they even touch that on the flat cups there. Again, they've got to have that accuracy over the fence to be absolutely spot on. Then a test down here, three in a row, two strides and one through the combination. She gets that spot on down to this fence and uh, just dives onto the back bar. Has that one away, gathers back up the reins, get themselves back under control. It's about recovering and being ready for the next fence more than where it's gone wrong. Looking to try and stay on the four if they can. It's still going to lead them up there in the top few at the moment. Just shakes the head, get the control back and concentrate through that double. Now just holding for the final few fences over that one to finish off. That was a good finish and it is just going to be the four faults there for Abby birch Eames with her round on Will Andry. Again, we see here just where the problem came, coming in and just dipped in, dropped the back legs in and finished on the four. 
Well, another one very much to make a very big impression so far this season is Chloe Winchester. Voca Valkyrie, four Nations Cup teams for her, and she's due to be a part of the European Championship squad this year. Congratulations, Chloe Winchester. Just been selected for the European Young Rider team, so having a good summer. Yeah, I, I'm over the moon. I can't believe it. I'm so pleased. And hopes for today with your horse, because you've you finished in the placings with your in your previous stairway competition. Yeah, she's jumped really well. She's done the Hagen Nations Cup since, and she was, sorry, <laughs> uh, she was clear in four. So hopefully she'll be on form today and pull out a clear. <laughs> and how do these competitions, this class, the jumps, compare to some of those international classes? It's so important, these classes, because it's really set me up for, um, it's really set me up for the Nations Cups jumping around the stairways here. So um, hopefully it'll go well today. <laughs> Well, she's had a very good run this year so far. Went very well at the Suffolk show as well a few weeks ago. Won the big class on day one there. And as we see, has been selected for those international teams. She's uh, had a big win earlier on in the season. Several Grand Prix wins, including the Blue Chip Championships. And you can see here a good way. They stretch out over the water. They're going to have quietly having the horses ready for that next vertical. When they stretch out, they start to get a little bit lower. So they want to have all that power underneath them as they come to the next fence to that vertical. It will be so easy just to have that pole off. Again, with this plank, accuracy needed all the way. Delicate little fence for them. And then they've got them on the turn once again. Kelvin Bywater and uh, Paul Connor, our course designers here, through the combination. Just drift to the side slightly, straightens back up for the Abbey Road fence. Again, part of the Olympic set of fences. Abbey Birchmore Eames just creeping into the top five at the moment, but that could all change. Another very good ride from Chloe Winchester. This Dublin the last. Ah! Just barely touches it. Then down to the last fence. And they'll also finish on the four for Chloe Winchester. Will it be enough? We wait and see to go forward to round two. We see them approach the double. 84-24 gets them in at the moment into the first part. Just pushing off that front bar. And another one to feature is Law Robinson and Jonty, another of the young talents coming through. Seven Nations Cup appearances and makes the trip down from North Allerton in Yorkshire and another team appearance on the horizon. And a teammate of Chloe's this summer at the European Young Rider Championships will be Laura Robertson, representing Great Britain. Congratulations. Thank you. So you having a good summer? Yeah, really good. Um, I went to Villa Mora for an opening tour at the beginning of the year to get the horses ready and stuff. And then um, after that, I went to Lumen and I was seventh in a three-star Grand Prix, which is a big step up for me. And I think I was selected after that, really. And today's hopes for this stairway competition? Um, I don't have my team horse here. I've got my second horse. It's quite a big step up for him. He's 10 years old, but he hasn't jumped many courses at this level. Um, he had a fence down in the warm-up this morning, but I was sick, so hopefully he'll be a bit better. <laughs> And interesting to see Laura taking a much wider line to fence three. We've seen problems there. And again from her, just drifts that one off. You'll have seen some of our riders cutting in from two to three there, try to make up some time, because if they do have a fence down, well, it'll be the quicker of the four falters that will make round two, that may well make up our top five. So again, they'll put a foot on the gas to try and put a good time in and see if they can still make round two and pick up very good prize money indeed. So Laura loses a bit of time there. We'll see what the rest of the strategy is. She may be struggling to make that top five now, having given that uh, third fence a wide berth. Into the combination. And it really is only the touch off at three so far. Otherwise looking good. Cree Cruiser, her top ride to feature at the European Championships later on in the season. Already part of teams as well. And it's a very special experience for these riders to represent Great Britain. They could well be the riders representing the British teams at Olympic Games, European Championships in the future. But great experience for the youth in their under-18 sections and the under-21s as well. Gives the horse a pattern, rightly so. As she said, that horse stepping up a gear. And again, may well have influenced this longer run to the third but does just tap it away to finish on the four and takes them out of those top few. Graham Lovegrove, Alfie 192. Of course, we've seen super rounds from them already, and he was a clear machine when it came to the Suffolk show a few weeks ago. You see, he just tucks inside here, saving a bit of time. Graham with a lot more experience under his belt, though. Oh, and he just gives that fence a touch, too. 
He's represented Great Britain a number of times and lots of international experience. But this is the type of competition, as we know, and they've already said, where they keep those international horses ticking over in preparation for those championships and big international competitions. These, again, could be future riders for Britain in all levels of what's called the Nations Cup, the team competition, and Graham has been a part of that before now. See, he takes fairly economical lines, going tight up to some of those fences. That's how he's going to save the time, rather than rushing the horses. If they start to rush them, they start to run on a bit and lose a little bit of the jump, means they get a little bit lower and a more of a chance of having a fence. Keeps the horse up together round the corner here. Gets all the spring underneath. And then you can see right down that line that they face to finish. Graham looking on top form once again. Can he do it again? More than likely, and he does. Jumping clear, Graham Lovegrove. Well, the battle's on now. Every chance now of getting a lot of points here at the Royal Norfolk. And hits clear, puts him, guarantees him his spot in round two. Graham Lovegrove there. Louise Sewell alongside also clear, as is Robert Bevis. Tim Davis's round still to come. The battle is still on. Had 12 with his earlier rider, Braveheart, but still to come after the break with Valentino. See you then. Welcome back to the International Stairway Series here at the Royal Norfolk. The tensions mounting. Tim Davis, the last to go in round one with Valentino. And the battle is on. Graham Lovegrove already clear. Tim at the top of the table, but it's poles down for Tim Davis. So there's going to be a change around at the top of the International Stairway Series table after this round. Tim's challenge, I'm afraid, comes to nothing here. Two down for him and, well, the battle to get to the top of the table and through the series grows once again. Well, Tim, frustrating there, the two down. Talk me through your round. Um, he was a little bit sticky at the first three, I would say, and just hung a bit in the area of number three and had the back bar. And then, you know, got into the swing of it and he was much better. And then, unfortunately, just had a silly coming out the double, otherwise I might have made the top five. But, you know, they're not machines, like I said earlier, and they can make you know, the odd mistake. So no points this week from the stairway, though. I'd be, you'll be watching the, the jump off closely? Yes, and hoping that someone, certain person, doesn't get too many. <laughs> it's not very sporting, is it? <laughs> Look, good luck next time. Thank you. So the course has now been altered for the jump off. We have our five confirmed riders, three clears, and two will carry those four faults through to the second round. And Tim, they are changing the course, but they've got that number three fence, which caused all sorts of trouble in the first round. It was amazing, really, because nobody gave it a second glance when we walked the course, and I certainly didn't. Um, and I think nearly uh, three quarters of the class had that fence down for whatever reason. Now, I've noticed it is in the jump off, and they've made an alteration. They've actually narrowed it up, and they've made the back rail a little bit higher. Now, whether it might have made a, a, a false impression, the horse couldn't view it very well, or something was catching them out with their eye lines, but will it be interesting to see how it jumps for this jump off? Yeah, just looking around the rest of the course then, you know, they're keeping the first three fences. We've got the, the double, the boat fence. How do you see it going? I think there'll be one double clear that's going to win this. Obviously, the, the horses are uh, struggling to jump clears today. I think it's a very good course, and I think that the, the person who jumps double clear is probably going to be the winner today. One double clear being? I would say... I'd like to see Robert Bevis do it with Pebbles. I thought he jumped a great first round. Robert's in a real great vein of form at the moment. And his horse is, you know, he's jumping right where it needs to do. Well, one that's been jumping very well is Simon Buckley. Picked up just the four faults with Wordsworth the second, Joanna Gates' horse's partner. But, well, this is a horse that has really impressed everyone. One at the Horse of the Year show last year, the big championship for young horses, the Fox Hunter Championship. And really, Olympic horses have come out of that class over the years and again he's taking this one fairly steadily it's a nine-year-old horse but having come through those young horse classes giving the horse experience over these international tracks here he's already had the four faults and so trying to stay clear here as well but this may well also be about the education of the horse turns up a little bit tightly to that one and just pays the penalty it's a couple down in there and you can see on that turn he was just trying to shave a little bit of the ground off, just save a bit of ground, rather than rushing the horse over the fences at a fast round. 
He's trying to educate the horse here over jumping these big fences as they step up a gear. They're going up another level here. And then turning back to this big vertical to finish off. They pick up eight faults in there, but it is four faults from the first round as well. Total of 12, 56.57, but not too much to worry about there. That is certainly going to be a horse for the future. Wordsworth the second and Simon Buckley making the trip down from the north of England. It just holds on there. Look at that. Sitting on the edge of the cup. Laura Robinson also starting on four with Jonty. As she said, this horse, again, is getting a bit more experience this level. Already Cree Cruiser, her other ride, with plenty of experience here. And again, as Tim Stockdale mentioned, this fence causing problems early on. She's taken a wide line like she did earlier on. She had it earlier on. She's been a bit more careful at it this time. And really barely brushed it in the first round. You see, takes this one very slightly on the angle. Again, taking as tight a line as she can to this. But if they come up a little bit tight, that means they're going to be wrong for both parts. They go in there. They're a little bit further in as they jump in. And again, it's going to make it harder to jump that second fence, second part of that double. Then back to this maritime fence. And again, you can see her coming over that slightly on the angle again, just saving seconds all the time. And now a turn up to the last. Over that vertical. Ah, not over that vertical. Last goes as well. So finishes with 12 in this round. Four from the first. Puts them on 16 overall, 57-14. And as Laura said, this horse getting an education here. Now we'd see them turning up to the double. And as I said, if you have the first part, they're literally fractions there in getting close to it but it puts you wrong for the second part as well so you're more likely to have both parts down as they make a big jump in graham lovegrove alfie 192 as we saw performing so well in the first round and at suffolk where they won over here and you can see he's already looking for that next fence but again economical with that doesn't come too wide gives himself space to get to this he knows it's caused problems this horse with uh, a few more miles on the clock, a little more experience at this level. Turns up to this, jumps on the angle. He's not racing away, but looking for accurate spots all the time. Finds it there. Keeps on coming, pushes a little more down to this spread. Now again, you see him swiftly move away on the uh, turn. That's what the kind of reaction they need. They need to be able to land and go. Ah. One of the few to have that down. Turning back up to the last then. He was clear in round one. Four this time. Things changing around though because Tim Davis not going through to round two. 61-34. And that one fence down. We'll have a look at that here at the Maritime fence. We just look closely at the cup. He barely touches it. It drops away. And that's why it's still sitting on the edge from a little earlier on. Well, that show jumping, I'm afraid. Getting underway though is our next partner, in fact, of Graham Lovegrove, Louise Saywell, Mr. Darcy. Experienced international horse this, previously with Joe Clayton. Now Louise taking up the ride. She's jumped to the very top level last year as part of the British squad at the Nations Cup final. And that's given her valuable experience, confidence as well. And she will push this horse a little bit more. You'll see them, you can see them already up the pace from some of the others we've already seen. Looks for a line, a spot through there, nicely done. Again, just holding, then just releasing a little more over that fence. Then turns nicely away. Smooth, sharper turns. That's what we're looking for here. Now up towards the last. And again, just pushes the buttons again up towards the final fence. Very good rider from Nottinghamshire. Clears the last little buck and a kick. 56-41. They're well ahead of the field and it's a double clear there that really does put them at the top of the table. Double clear, we already heard from Tim Stockdale, could be the one to take it. Will it be Louise Saywell and Mr Darcy? They've shown all the form so far that could mean they win here at the Royal Norfolk. Last to go though, Robert Bevis, and this was a favourite of Tim Stockdale's earlier on. Pebbles, another nine-year-old. Again, stepping up the gears here. It's a great education, the International Stairway Series, for all those horses coming through. He's keeping moving all the way, just touches the back bar there, just wobbles in the cup. Not racing, but again, nice, neat turns. Now, this one they need to be right on. Yes, he is. Now, we saw Louise exactly the same there, just push a little here. Now, that's where they want 
a tight turn. Gives it a little bit of space. Oh, no. Back end just takes that out. And it is going to go Louise Saywell's way. Turning up to the last, he's on the four. It was a very good time. Look at the time, 55.42. He was quick enough. But unfortunately, the back end just didn't get out of the way at this fence here. Comes in over the maritime fence, and the back legs just stay there and take it away. Pulling off that fence, recovers well though to jump the last, but that's how it shapes up in the end. Louise Saywell finishes top with the double clear. Tim was spot on, but it was a different rider. And this is how it alters the points overall. Graham Lovegrave moves to the top of the table with Alfie 192. Tim Davis now into second, Valentino, and the battle continues. Well, we have our event winner and our series leader after today's competition. Louise, a fantastic day for you, Mr. Darcy, flying at the moment. Yeah, it was amazing today. Both rounds was fantastic. I couldn't ask for more. Did you think you'd done it when you, you crossed the line? I wasn't sure, but clear was the main thing. And nice to keep this one in the household because Mr. Darcy is actually your horse? Well, he's half mine and half my sister's. Um, so, no, it was, it was very good. And talk me through your round and a frustrating one pull down. Well... I I actually wasn't trying to go fast, you know. I'd, I'd seen the others in the in the jump off, and I was thinking it's you know the points keep camp, uh, getting the points for the league. And I did half ride for third when I went in. I must admit I wasn't really um, committed enough. And I knew Louise was coming after me, so she, she can do the winning. <laughs> and you know you're leading now by five points heading into our final three rounds of the series. So confidence must be fairly high. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep trying. You know he's he's jumping well, um, but you know Tim's also is going well. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a long way to go yet, obviously. And Louise, this obviously sets you up for a, a flying finish in the series. Yeah, I'm creeping up, so watch your back. <laughs> yeah, well, well done to you both. Thank Cheers, you very thank much. You. Well, British Show Jumping's Maria Clayton there, handing out the first prize to Louise Saywell, winning her first stairway competition of the season with Mr Darcy. So the final prize has just been handed out. It's been a fantastic day here at the Royal Norfolk. Congratulations to Louise and all our other prize winners. Join us for our next stairway competition. That's coming from the New Forest and Hampshire show.